Well, so welcome to Late Night at the Shop. Uh, I'm Colin, and uh, look who's back. <laughs> I know it's been quite a while since I did a video. Uh, things get a little hectic in the shop at times. Uh, generally, most days you're too much noise here to do a video, so I uh, stayed back this evening and uh, shot a little bit of video on the uh, line boring machine that I've built in the last little while. I hope I can uh, get enough pieces out of it to uh, to make a sensible video. So this video of saving was, is just a, a, a first quick test run of this to make sure that uh, what I've got built is actually going to work. And uh, we do a couple cuts and uh, we'll have a look at the results a bit later on there. So this is our shop made uh, line boring outfit. Uh, essentially what it consists of is two bearings. one. To go ma one mounted at either end of your, the board you, that you want to true up, uh, a bar that holds your cutting cutting bit, and that uh, well, we've got a lot of locations in this one depending on our board, and uh, some alignment collars to get it centered with the existing bore now. So what we've got set up, we've got a uh, a stand in for a tractor part with a hole in the center that we're going to bore. And uh, we'll get all this uh, aligned and welded onto it, and we'll uh, try to take a few test cuts with this new machine, see how it works. So first things first, what we need to do is get our bar centered in the existing bore. So we'll use our, uh, our cones to do that. Get it somewhere in the middle so it'll balance. pretty snug. Now what this will allow us to do is to install our bearing plates. And we're going to physically weld these to the, uh, to the piece that we want to fix. Tacked on there. So now that these are welded on, we can go and remove our. If I go by the Allen key, we can remove our alignment collars.
So now with that done, we can uh, we can actually attach our mag drill. Switch my handle to the other side. <laughs> I guess I should have broached this last hole. Didn't think it would be necessary. Okay, so after a little drilling and broaching session, we now have the holes in the right locations on this bar. I had originally just chopped off some three inch standoffs today and uh, not realizing that the travel of the drill wouldn't put a hole in the right location for this pleat. So we have two more holes in it now and uh, we'll be ready to put a tool bit in there. All I've got around is something, let's see if I can get that up in the corner. It's basically a uh, copy of a, an A tool bit. So we'll get our set screw in there. First thing we'll try to do is get this out roughly to the bore. We'll bring it just inside the existing board. Now this one is not out of round because it's something I bored in there today. So we'll just push it out level with the edge there and we'll snug up our set screw. So what I've designed to go with this is uh, a small setting tool. Is essentially a clamp that will go around the bar and the uh, quarter 20 screw in here will push your tool bit out when in 50, 50 thousandths per turn. So we'll give it a little bit of advance over just touching that. So that's snug. We'll give it probably a quarter of a turn. Tighten down our tool bit. And hopefully this works. And you're seeing it for the first time as well. Let's put some glasses on and give it a try. Grab some, some cut and loop while we're at it. And let's see what happens here. Oh, it doesn't look 
too bad. Although now it's hard to see in there, so. So let's give her another little cut and see what happens. Tighten down a little bit. More cutting juice. Get you up the head and get you in there close. So this is what our bore looks like. Now this drill that runs at uh, 450 RPM, which I think it could use some more speed for a hole that size actually. So on a larger hole it might give a better surface. 
just finish, although that's not too bad. And with hand feed, you're not going to get as fine a finish as uh, you will with a power feed. But overall, I think this is working pretty good. I can see a couple of refinements. I need to put a fence on this uh, so that the drill, in case of a power failure, is not going to spin around on you and a way to strap it on. Other than that, it's not too bad. So I hope you found the uh, line boring part a bit interesting. Uh, I have plans to do some more videos in the near future and uh, hopefully we'll get the time to put them together and uh, upload them to the channel. Thanks for watching.